This show was first broadcast on Free FM 89.0 Hamilton, New Zealand's community access radio station. For more information on our station and the wide range of programs, visit freefm.org.nz. Hey, Dad. Johnny, can you help me with this iPhone? Oh, Dad, just go to UB. UB, Hamilton's only dedicated Apple authorised reseller and service provider for all your Apple needs, including iPads, iPhones, portables, and desktops. Come talk to the experts at UB, Tiawa at the base. To keep up to date with the latest news and announcements, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at UBNZ, or head into stores so we can help UB the best you can be. This show is proudly brought to you by the Hashtag Me Network. And now, Hashtag Radio NZ. Slash art, dash art, slash art, dash art, slash art, dash art, slash art, com, dot com. Welcome to Hashtag Radio, I'm Fred McAwesome. I'm V8 Matty. And this week we are joined by Paul from Yubi. Hello, how's everyone? How's it going? Yeah, not bad. So uh, Paul is going to be joining us to uh, go over all the uh, goodies that were announced. The, the new toys. Ago. Well, we'll say goodies is a nice word for it. Although I don't know if everybody would share our opinion on on what defines a goodie. Yeah, well, this is a good point. <laughs> yeah. um, and of course, we are brought to you every week by UB. Yes. Yeah. It was one of those things I actually had to look up the other day to make sure that we're continuing to do this. Oh, okay. I, I, I just want to keep going forever. Oh, and, and are we continuing yeah. to do this? As far as I'm aware, no one's oh, told me otherwise. This is great. So this week we are brought to you yes. by UB. You can check them out <laughs> at TR with a base or online at UB.com and follow them on Twitter and on Facebook. That was easy. I'm going to go home now. Okay, you, my job you're done. Here is done. Yeah, yeah you've made Beautiful. sure. Yeah. you made sure that we're yeah exactly the sponsor. It's yeah. not often that Fred get, uh, Fred, <laughs> Fred gets that done so seamlessly. Oh, I know. It yeah. was perfect. I know. We get things right sometimes. Sometimes. Follow things. them on Twitter <laughs> at UBNZ. Yep. Um, and this week we're not joined by Carice McCawson. She's been a bit crook this week, so she is away. So we've got no news this week. No oh, news. Well, no news is good thing. news. Well, we, we have got news, but we're going to cover it off the, just as general crap yes. throughout the show. Well, the hashtag yeah. girls have been down and out this week. It's yeah, both. pretty rough. Yeah. So get well, girls. I know. Yeah. Well, who's who's going to wash our clothes and do the dishes? Well, you should see the pile you can. of washing. Is what? Pardon? You can. It's 21st century. Is it really? There's no app on my phone yeah. for that yet. Oh no, God. not yet. No. There's bound to be soon, though. Yeah. An app for that? Yeah. Oh, bound yeah, with be. the smart appliances. Well, yeah. see, LG have got all app available stuff for all of their yeah. It would have been a great segue yeah. if we were going to talk about that, wouldn't it? It oh. would. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll plan it better next time. Instead of going over the news, why don't we go over the uh, launch? The Apple the announcements. Yeah, because last, last week we sort of brushed <coughs> over everything because we had the boys from the pod fellas here. Yeah, yeah. How did that go? Because I must admit, I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet. And, oh, it was pretty good, eh? They're pretty fun, those oh, guys. Oh, yeah. They're, they're a good bunch of dudes. Yeah. Um, we had a good yarn about Armageddon. I think we all pretty much agreed on uh, on the downfalls of, of the Hamilton Armageddon. It, it felt a little lacklustre this year. It did. Yeah. It did. It definitely wasn't shining in the sunlight. I'm, I'm kind of hoping what they're doing, though, is that because this is the 20th anniversary yeah. for, for Auckland, or mm. for the big one, that they go all out for Auckland, that they make it absolutely massive, and they're sort of pulling it back a little bit for the the provincial shows. Yeah. Well, you've also got uh, Comic Con nice coming theory. up as well. Yeah, so yeah, you've exactly. got two big shows this year. Yeah, exactly. So it'll be uh, interesting to see what happens, what Could, announcements they make. Would, it, would I be wrong in saying you're a bit of an Armageddon vet? Yeah, yeah, I've been to a few. I, I had to fight really hard, actually, to go the, to them for years. Yeah. When I worked with Easy DVD, which was a, a subsidiary of Video Easy, who was a sponsor, yeah. I was thinking, you know, we should be getting free tickets to this, and the managers were mm. all like, yeah, you know, you're right, we should, we're going to go, you stay here and look after the shop. Yeah. So I spent like <laughs> five years not being able to go between that and, and the next job, always having Super. to work over the holiday weekend. So, yeah, it was it's one of those things I fought really hard, and I don't, I, I've, I've missed one since, and that was because I was in bed for a month with mumps. That's so I couldn't cool. get to it. Oh, the dreaded mumps. They were horrible. Mm. Yeah. But great weight loss regime. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it, but it was a great regime. Yeah, um, and uh, like, so while well, well, we're on the subject, hmm. like, what changes would you make? Because this is what we went over with the podfellas. Like, what changes would you make to make um, the Hamilton one, the provincial ones, the provincial more ones awesome? I think it needs to incorporate the community more. The first one where they had things like the zombie walk through town was, was a fantastic idea. Yeah. Because it made everybody sort of sit up and go, oh, wow, there's something happening. big happening. Yeah. Um, getting the guests out there a little bit more as well is, is a big one, I think, because they, they sit there and they go, you, you see them 
at the at the arena you see them yeah. go to the hotel yeah there's the thing that they do with the um pub basically it's like a, a cocktail evening with yeah. them which is sort of a one-off event but you don't is see the out and about no no here in hamilton okay, i didn't even know that um yeah it, it's usually for stall holders and gold card holders yeah. so it's it's fairly tightly reined in yeah but we'll see the from a media perspective, uh, I can tell you a massive, the massive differences between Hamilton and Auckland. Oh, so, yeah. so for Auckland, we get like at least two, three months in advance. Yes. This is who you can talk to. Yep. These are going to be the events we're going to hold. Yes. We usually get invited to the cocktail evening yes. for Auckland. Uh, we get the day beforehand to actually go around and look at things yep. and talk to people. And it's an amazing um, uh, sort of push they put it on is, it. It is, yeah. But the Hamilton one is sort of, it always feels rushed. Um, uh, the guests this year were mm. a wee bit lacklustre. I were, think uh, I think it was more catered this year towards your fantasy oh movies. Yeah, I think so. And, and for me, <laughs> there, there was some that tied in really well with with Hamilton being where it was. Like the guys from Pirates of the Caribbean, we're in a landlocked landlock city, yeah. and they, they've just been sitting on the coast, so they wanted a bit of a break. So it worked really well for them. Somebody like John Rhys Davies, mm. who I've worked with him before, and he's absolutely amazing to work with. But yeah. he lives in Tikafata. You know, it's it's not too far away for him to come down for a drive. It's, yeah. it's not a big stretch on that one. But we've, you know, I'd rather see the guests that we saw this year than the ones that we had in the first year, which were all Twilight. Well, this is a good point. But see, <laughs> last What's year was amazing. What's wrong with Twilight? I, I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. Oh. It's slightly derivative and poorly written and badly acted and terribly oh, made. Oh, the young ones like it, though, eh? Not mine. Mine are far smarter than that. I tell you what, I've watched the Twilight trilogy because my wife was really into it. Isn't it four films? <sighs> I think it's are technically a trilogy. Yeah. Technically a trilogy because yeah. it was... It, it's three, f- yeah, three yeah. films, four books or something. Four, four, four films, three yeah, yeah, books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always thought they were terrible movies, but yeah. then a couple of, well, a few weeks ago, I sat through... Um, Fifty Shades? Fifty Shades. Which is fan fiction. Yeah, f- it was fan fiction of yeah. thing. But you go back and look at um, Twilight, and it's not that bad after seeing yeah. that horrible piece of crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can totally see that. And and the, the writer of, of Fifty Shades, she yeah. fought really hard to have Robert Pattinson cast in that lead role. Yeah. Because she's insane. Yeah, totally. Yeah, he wasn't in that role, though, was he? No, no, no. It was somebody else. No, was, but um, see, uh, last year's Armageddon in Hamilton yeah. to bring us back on track yes. and stop talking about white <laughs> vampires. Um, they had an amazing group of yeah, it did. Yes, it was fantastic, and it worked really well because it was tied into Wellington. Yeah, and so they, they basically they flew into Auckland, they came down here, they did the stuff here, and then they did a, they got a tour of the North Island on mm. the way down. So they went into Hobbiton and yeah. Rotorua and all that sort of stuff. And then Wellington, they met up with somebody like I think Manu Bennett met them down there, yeah. and that's why he's on this this year's tour because he had so much fun there. Yeah. But this time, because we've been lumped in with the South Island group, some people couldn't make it all three of them. It's a bit yeah. of a long sort of journey to go from the two I've islands. heard amazing feedback about the Christchurch one this year. Yeah, yeah so have I. It was amazing. It was the best one they've had. Because I think they've moved location this year. Okay. But they used to be out in one of the race courses and, and sort of some of the, the stalls that were out in um, yeah. the stables, and it, it wasn't the most pleasant of places to yeah. be. But I, I personally think the, um, the, the travel thing is, is a bit of a copy. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're going to fly halfway around the world to New Zealand and then say, oh... I can't be bothered flying getting, for an hour. Getting from Christchurch to Hamilton's just too much of yeah. a, a well, drag. So the like, Pirates guys, what? again, they were, they were flying out each night, like from each Sunday night to go back to the coast to shoot and then, or Gold Coast, come back over the next weekend. So I know for the Dunedin one, they had to cancel because there was the hurricane, uh, the cyclone, yeah. the cyclone Pam actually oh, stopped yeah, them from yeah. being able to get here. So th- there were some that I could understand. You know, if you're travelling to New Zealand and back mm. seven or eight times, it's a bit of a, a bit yeah. of a drain. But in saying that, the, the build up this year was quite a letdown as well. I mean, like yeah. I, I did have a conversation with you online yes. about this, about how neither of us were really looking forward to it yeah. this year, and it was was it the lack of hype? I, like usually I things so. are overhyped there was nothing, in this country. Eh? There, was, there, there was, was no hype at all. There, there wasn't very many guests that sort of jumped out at me. No. There are the same sort of competitions that you have everywhere, but in a slightly smaller capacity. Yeah. And there's not a huge amount of massive stalls. Like you go to Auckland and you get things like Sony and, and mm. Microsoft have massive yeah. presences. Yeah. But here it took them a year or so even to get Mighty Ape to show up. Yeah. So it, it always feels like we're, again, the poor cousin that's just running to play catch up. Yeah. So the, the, I think the only game in there this year was uh, the League of Legends. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was pretty like, much it. Oh, the LOL guys would have been stoked to that. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. But yeah, as a console gamer, it was, it was yeah. just a bit of a letdown. 
was yeah. hugely down. Yeah. So I mean, and, and the area is there for them to be able to do that sort of stuff. Oh, definitely. So yeah, it's just a case of yeah. we need to be able to. Th- those companies need to see that there's a reason to come down here. Yeah. And I don't think they have yet. And I don't, I don't. I don't think that the travel from Auckland to Hamilton is. There's there's no. Oh, it's going to cost us too much to go and do no, it. No, not at all. Oh, it's no more expensive than doing it on one side of Auckland and, and going to the other and side. And as mm-hmm. I said last week, it's, I don't expect to get the same thing as what Auckland gets. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't expect the massive flamboyant oh, stalls that Sony had last not. year in Auckland. I don't expect that. But I expect something. It'd be nice to have a presence there. Yeah. Yeah. Come and just, even if they send a few people to give away some stickers or yeah. something. Yeah, because there are a lot of people that won't travel to the Auckland one because... Yep. It's expensive. Oh. And, and the, every year for the last couple of years, there's been tr- screw-ups with the traffic and yeah. the public transport and all the rest of it. Last year was terrible. Lot, a lot of people, too, go to the Hamilton one. Yes. And, and they're so disappointed. They're like, there's no way I'm spending yeah. all my time and effort and money going to the Auckland yep, exactly. show. exactly. You know, it's just it's a bad advertisement yeah. for the rest of them. Yeah. yeah. So, once again, it's the same as last week, not crapping on the event and No, the event I had a, great, had a great amount yeah. of fun there myself. Yeah, and I was there with a couple of different people, including my kids, and they yeah. loved it. My yeah, kids and really enjoyed it. All, uh, what I really like about it is always cool catching up with, the, as I like to say, like the um, usual suspects yes. that turn up to these things. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's on the same. You bump into everybody there that you know that's sort of hovering around, and the same sort of faces show up everywhere. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Took my nephews. They met Batman. They were well stoked. That Batman was fantastic, wasn't he? Was, he? he was a good Batman. Yeah, he yeah. was really good. Well, he did ask the kids, which one of you wants to reach into my boot? That's a little creepy. That was a little creepy, but yeah. he had his flyers for his. Uh, he he does events. Oh, okay. And he had his flyers. So you have Batman turn one up at a party. Boots. That would be you amazing. Can, yeah. Uh, as an adult, I want that at my next birthday. <laughs> I want Batman at my next birthday. That would be stunning. Everyone yeah. should have Batman at their birthday. Oh, I agree. We have to make that happen wholeheartedly. Yeah. So on to Apple. Apple. Yes. Apple. Oh, is that what I'm here for? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're here for whatever you want to be here for because you <coughs> sponsor the, the show. Yes. We have got the f- Flash new uh, MacBook sitting on the desk yep. here, but I want to get to that later. Okay. So we'll get to that after I'm the break. I'm tutuing with it. Yeah. Feel free to tutu away. Um, what I did want to talk about um, first is the watch. Okay. Because this year has been, personally, I think, I was excited to see it. Yep. Because so I actually did think, okay, Smart watches up until now have been a very boring device. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't seen the point in why I should purchase one. I was excited. I've always been excited about wearables because mm-hmm. I'm a nerd. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. You know, and up until now, they have been a bit of a letdown. It's just an extension of your phone. Yes. Um, so I thought if anybody could make it more interesting, surely Apple can do it. They haven't really. And I think the reason behind that is a lot of Apple products, they start off, trying to work out what, what works best with other devices and mm. incorporating that to create the best that you can get within the field, and then they build on it from there. Mm. And I, I'm hoping that's what they're planning on doing with the watch. And they've already started to incorporate the watch into some of the things that they do, like the, the 8, 8.2 iOS update that came out this yeah. week already has watch syncing available in it. Yeah. So you can go and you can sync the watch up when it does come out. Um, the official line that we've been given about the watch is that, yes, it will happen. But that's pretty much it. We don't have much else in terms of information on it. Yeah. And so is this going to be available in New Zealand on launch? Do we know? No, won't be. Won't be? No. Okay. Not at all. We don't have a New Zealand release date yet. Nothing at all? Nope. Uh, disappointing. I know. It, it, the, the question that we get a million times a day is when is it coming oh, out? I have no doubt you probably had it on day one after the announcement. Yes. Oh, we Can got, I we, buy one? We got Yeah, we got phone calls uh, straight after the announcement yeah. coming into work that day. Just, yeah. oh, when will it be out? Yeah. I want it now. Can I pre-order it? No, you can't pre-order it. It doesn't actually exist here yet. Yeah. That's, yeah. When they made the announcement last year, we were getting phone calls about it. Yeah, and there will be somebody who goes out and buys the ten thousand dollar super yeah, flash we, one. We another thing we had a conversation mm-hmm. about at Armageddon was the ten thousand dollar one. Yes, I think it's an absolutely ridiculous. Oh, it's an idea. insane price. It is an insane price. But the people that can afford to buy a ten thousand dollar watch are exactly the sort of people you want to see wearing your ten thousand dollar watch. Mm. It's all about marketing and image. Yeah. The thing I don't like about it is you're not getting a ten thousand dollar watch. No, you're getting a ten thousand dollar Apple logo. You're getting a three hundred dollar watch. Encrusted in expensive bits and pieces. Yes, and there's there's no way that makes it a ten thousand dollar watch. No, no, not at all. You I mean, can there, there you are, can 
there are changes to the Apple Watch itself. Say something inappropriate. The Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good thing I interrupted. There, there are changes that they've done to the chemical formula of the gold that they're using. Okay. That, that, that's made it harder and stronger because gold's very it's soft. It's a soft metal, yeah. Yeah. So to make sure that it, it actually holds and it doesn't break like some and gold stuff And you'd want does. that on a $10,000 Yeah, piece. exactly. They, they've actually chemically changed the way that the gold works so yeah. that the atoms are smaller so there's less room in there for it to actually be able to move. So there are some scientific advancements in there. I don't know where else, you know, super hard gold's going to come in handy. Yeah. But it's the sort of thing that, that's probably what the $10,000 is paying for. Yeah. And see, this, there is another example, though, of Apple sort of testing where something is going to go. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, um, when the iPod came out, yes. it, once again, wasn't a new idea. We nope. already had MP3 players, just like we've already got smartwatches. Yes. Um, and so that didn't really sort of sit in the um it didn't sit right didn't work properly yeah. um all it did was play music and itunes still wasn't a thing no it, it used to come with a little disc yeah. every every ipod that you bought had to have the itunes disc so everybody could have it on their computer oh true yeah, yeah. it's hard to believe eh? Yeah. It's, it's weird to think that itunes wasn't a thing yeah yet they had an mp3 player yes yeah. And now iTunes is a thing and we all hate it. Yeah. <laughs> it is a plague upon my existence at times. Do you want to update iTunes? No. Never. I, I haven't even updated one of my computers to um, Yosemite yet. Oh, see, I, I updated to Yosemite early and I had all the bugs of yeah. the no Wi-Fi yes. and all, all these sort of things. But I actually quite like Yosemite uh, now, that, now that it's the consumer release, of yeah. course. So my, my my MacBook is Yosemite, mm. so and that's fine, and that, that runs all of the programs that I need for mm. work, which we've only just been able to update to a Yosemite friendly version. Yeah. But my iMac runs an older version of Final Cut Pro, which doesn't work on Yosemite, uh, and I've got the forty eight hours coming up soon. I kind of don't want to risk losing that just before this big film competition. Oh, well, we should have talked about that later. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Well, must be time for our first break, anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's, let's have a break. You're going going old school with this one. Um, yeah, I've I've gone um, with a bit of David Bowie. Oh wow, some Ziggy Stardust. Oh, can't go wrong with David. There was a. Did you see um, the the Jareth cosplay? No. Yes, it was. I did. Stunning. It was a woman who looked exactly like him. It was absolutely brilliant. It was great. Wow, you're on hashtag. <laughs> Charming good with web and gilly And the spiders from Mars He played it left hand But made it too far Became the special man but Then we were Ziggy's band Ziggy really sang Screwed up eyes and screw down hair too like some cat from Japan He could lick them by smiling He could leave them to hang They came on so loaded, man Well hung the snow white tan Jiving us that we were voodoo The kids were just crass He was the nest With God-given ass He took it all too far But boy, could he play guitar Making love with his ego I 
proud Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Want more of that free FM feeling? Find it anytime online on our website, freefm.org.nz. Get the lowdown on all your favourite free FM shows and their hosts. Plus discover our latest podcast picks. You can even learn about how you, yes you, can get on air with free FM because this is Real Community Radio. Hashtag Radio NZ. You're back with Hashtag Radio, proudly brought to you by UB. You can follow them on Twitter at UBNZ. Follow us on Twitter as well at Hashtag Radio NZ. And we are joined in the studio today, live with uh, by Paul. Yes, live. I like live. Live is live radio is fun. It is. I, fun. I could swear I could just drop it in there and nobody could stop me. The sponsors might get angry. I'm pretty sure they'll be fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> Call it a hunt. <laughs> Go I wouldn't. I wouldn't I, do that. I dare you. I wouldn't do that. No, we've got broadcasting standards to uphold. I, exactly, and I got in trouble. I, I got I got warned the other day about being very careful around broadcasting standards because one of the guests that I was interviewing on my show worked with the alcohol industry. Uh, so I yes. had to be very careful just, just to make sure we weren't promoting alcohol. Yeah. So it was all very careful okay. how we had to, to handle that. Yes, I enjoy that. I, I, I wouldn't did. necessarily promote that drink, but I do like it. Yes, that, that's pretty much what it was. And we were talking about <laughs> branding and marketing, so oh, we were yeah. talking about images Was and this stuff um, like the local company yes. who had the issues with the our local council? council. Yes, yep, yep. that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was I know the one. great fun sitting down and chatting to the, the person who well, came up with the what idea. A, well, plug your show. Oh, uh, it's called Pull the Other One. It's Wednesdays at... 11.30. Just had to remember the time because I normally pre-record it. Yeah. Um, I follow Jack Geelan, who if nobody's ever heard Jack's stuff, you really should tune in and listen because it's absolutely amazing how smart you feel afterwards. Mm. Jack is, is an interesting fellow who believes in all sorts of random things like um, I, some of it's probably actually not appropriate for the audience that you've got, to be honest. Okay. It, it's just incredibly crazy. So it makes me feel completely sane and normal by comparison. Okay. And it's basically sitting down talking about politics and issues that are affecting the country and the city at the time. So... Uh, 11.30 Wednesday mornings mornings yes. and do you podcast it or yes yeah, it's all available through the free FM page so freefm.org.nz check exactly. out Paul the other one yeah well that was easy yeah I should do that more often as well yeah <laughs> and I should probably record more shows um, now, we've got you in the studio to yes. talk about all these new Apple goodies that you've got on down at UB. Yeah, exactly. We, we've got, we're in the process at the moment of the new ones coming in. So the new MacBook, which they announced, which has the C-Type USB port, um, that will be probably the end of April by the looks of it. Mid, mm. mid to late April is when the release date is for New Zealand. So we're waiting for it to show up hopefully sometime fairly soon. Um, so what is this one you've got in front of us? This, so this one this, is the this new one is, Retina? Uh, yep, the new 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina. So it's the 128 gig model that we've got here, which is the entry-level model. Um, they learned very quickly that you need to have the same amount of processing power in this one as you do in your other yeah. Retina models, otherwise it's just not worth it. Yeah. So you're looking at 8 gig worth of RAM in there. Couldn't tell you much more about the processor speed, to be honest, because yeah. I don't have the box in front of me and we've only had it in store 24 hours. What sort of what sort of hard drive is it? Do they have solid a solid state? state? Yeah. Okay. So it's going so to be, be speedy. smaller memory, but a lot faster. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. And it comes in three sizes, the 128, 256 and 512 gig. Okay. See, I, I personally think onboard memory is not as important as it was, say, five years no, ago. No, not at all. With everything being c cloud-based, and the new yeah. MacBook's very much designed for cloud-based use. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need a huge amount of storage space on there if you know how to use that yeah. sort of stuff. Same with, yeah, the, the price jump between this model and the next model mm. is still a little bit less than going out, and a little bit more, sorry, than going out and buying a, an external hard drive. Yeah. So, uh, it's the same with the mobiles as well. Yeah. Like, you're not needing the 100 and, oh, what is it? 128 like? gig model. Yeah. Yeah, it, absolutely. People like to go for the 60 because it's a bit more than 16 and 16 is not a huge amount yeah. if you're taking a lot of photos and videos and a lot of music but 64 is a huge amount you know, most people mm. aren't going to use that up True. Exactly. so what, what's the big difference with this one here well, this one here is the new design for the trackpad, which is probably the biggest point of difference from the old one. Yeah. And the trackpad, it, it, it's very Russian. It clicks you. You don't click it like the, the old school trackpads. Yes. <laughs> in, in Soviet Russia, trackpad click you. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's, it's kind of strange. The technology actually feels when you're clicking it. It makes it feel like you're clicking it, but you're not. Yeah. It really does, too. It, it's kind of weird. I've, I've been playing with it um, the last half hour or so, and it does feel like you're actually physically clicking down on yeah. the on the pad that like the whole thing moves yeah. but it's it, not it's not at all so it's one of the things i hated about the macbook design mm -hmm. is the trackpad like 
it always seemed really old school that yes. I had to physically click in like it was a button. Yeah. Um, whereas almost every Windows-based computer, you just tap the yep, trackpad. Absolutely. And this one now, because it, it used to be, you know, here were the buttons and here was where you basically scrolled and yeah. controlled your cursor, you can click anywhere on this trackpad. Yeah. So it recognizes you touch anywhere on there as well. I, th- I know most of my staff have automatically reverted back to where the clicks were yeah. when they use it, but it's mm-hmm. one of those things you soon get used to it. I mean, it seems that. like a really small thing, but to me, that would that I find oh, that quite absolutely. appealing. Absolutely, and there'll be people out there who who find how much useful that is for them. Yeah, as, as a guy who heavily uses PC mm-hmm. based laptops or Windows based laptops, it's always a frustration when I go to a MacBook. Yeah. of tap. Oh, that's right. It doesn't work like that. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm in the same boat. I do exactly the same sort of stuff, and I've been using Macs for years. Yeah, it's just it should have been something that fixed a while ago, and they finally got onto it. It's um, got a it's got a fully backlit keyboard now, hasn't it? Yes, yes, it does. I think the last model was fully backlit as well. It may have been. I can't yeah. remember off the top. Yeah, of yeah. I do. I do like that. My my um, HP laptop. It's not mm-hmm. lit at all, which doesn't sound like too much trouble until it's a little bit dark and exactly. you're trying to watch something. Yeah. and then you need to. Actually, I was watching use the keyboard. Um, and, new episode of Community last night, and there's there's a scene in the new episode of Community where Arbet is typing on a MacBook, but it doesn't yeah. show the MacBook logo. They're not they're not sponsored or anything. Yeah, yeah. And the person I was with turned around and said, oh, "Well, do Macs actually have lights under their keyboard?" Like, yeah. Why? So you can see it when it's dark. Yeah. <laughs> and and it was a dark shot, so you, it, it came out really well. But, I mean, people don't realise... You know those plastic covers that you get on keyboards mm-hmm. or for keyboards? We don't sell them in the store. I won't get them in because that's actually where it cools the air, like gets the cool air from the fans. Okay. sucks them in underneath the keys and then out through the vent underneath the screen. So those are actually bad for the computer? They're actually bad for the MacBooks, yeah. Because it always seems to be the MacBooks that have the cover. Yeah, it's, it's a stylistic choice. People, yeah. people choose to do it to make it look a little bit more personal. Yeah. But, yeah, I won't get them into store for that reason. Well, there you go. Pro tip. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this has got the new Retina on as well. It does, yeah, which is stunning. I love the display. And I loaded up a couple of videos. You know, I'm guessing you guys have already had a bit of a play with... Yeah, yeah. Um, we were just watching watch. the Avengers one. Oh, the Avengers trailer, which is only 720p. Yeah. So the, the quality on there, you can actually tell the difference between this one. The other one, which I loaded up, is uh, they call it a concept trailer for a movie called Leviathan. Yeah, um, which is Moby Dick in space, and uh, that one's full 1080p. There was an issue with playback. Possibly sorry, it's not it's on it's the internet. Sorry, yeah, it, it's, it's the uh, it's the lack of it's internet. Lack so of it's internet. not going to play. Ah, oh, which is a pity because it's a stunning trailer. Yeah, um, it, it's done by an Academy Award-winning short film director and written by the same guy that wrote Fight Club. Oh wow! So it, it looks really good, and it, it, it's just basically Moby Dick in space with these these giant, massive monsters. That, that sounds happening. ridiculously it's awesome. It's insanely brilliant. Yeah, it's beautiful quality on there. Um, uh, you can you can still tell the difference though, like just looking at the icons and oh, stuff yeah. on these Retina displays. They're so sharp and so yeah. clear. Um, and this is sort of what uh, one of the reasons why I like um the new operating system mm-hmm. as well. Like, I just think it's such a beautiful it is. looking operating it, it's system. It's very streamlined, very clean. Yeah, it, see, this is how far I've come in the last three exactly. years of doing hashtag <laughs> is where I would never have been sitting on the radio with a guy from a Apple shop. Um, talking Apple stuff. Talking Apple stuff yeah. as if I like it. Yeah. Because, I mean, I actually, do, <laughs> but I actually enjoy the Macs. Yeah. I, I like the Macs. We, our, all of our computers in our house are Macs now. We've got three of them in the house now. One of us. Yeah, whoa, halfway there, <laughs> halfway there. And this is the thing, is I'm still not convinced on uh, iOS. Yep. Um, I just, uh, it's weird to me that Macs are still very much open. Anyone can develop for it. Yes. You can download, you not don't have to download stuff from the App mm-hmm. Store. Um, well, they've got to go into your settings now. Yeah. Uh, to change it so you can do it. But I uh, still find it strange that the, they've gone on, the, the computer side's all open. Yeah, everything else is so closed. Yes. And that's sort of where my issue is. Yeah, I, I think with, especially with iOS, because it's so personal mm-hmm. and everybody who uses it uses it in, in a very different way, they have to regulate it very carefully. Yeah. And they have to monitor exactly what's going and what's going out. I mean, the last thing anybody wants is for a phone to get a virus. Yeah. Because, you know, you never know what information's on there and what, what's going to Oh, it's great. I, I do agree with that, especially yeah. now that we've got payment oh, options yeah, and exactly. all that on there. Do you think Apple will ever... Uh, look at like opening up Siri the same as Apple. I mean, Google have opened. Um, I don't Google know. Now. To be honest, I'm I'm not sure. It's one of those things I'd like to see it happen. Yeah. But Siri still only works with Apple firmware. Eh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I imagine that it's not going to change any time in the short term. 
but it's possibly something they're looking long term. Who knows? A- Apple don't tell us everything, unfortunately. Well, they don't tell anyone anything. No, yeah. they really don't. Uh, were there any surprises in the announcement for you? Um, the drop in price on the Apple TV was probably the one that I wasn't expecting. Uh, the, the what are they worth now? 119 down from 150 That's not bad. Yeah, it's a good price drop. Do you, um, think, do you it, think the Google Chromecast may have um, I think cast a shadow on their prices? I think that's probably a part of it. Yep. And, and Chromecast is a fantastic little tool. Hmm. Um, there is also rumours that they're going to be upgrading the device fairly soon uh, in the next few months. Do you think the actual physical TV will ever happen? No. I, it's always been something I've thought was a weird idea anyway. It would just be a giant iPad if you did that. There's no point to yeah. it. So, no, I don't think they, they will, and I don't think they need to. Okay, here's, here's a, a, a store-related question. <laughs> is there still interest in the iPad? Yes. Is it growing or is it dropping? It's dropping. Because you don't sort of see now people carrying around tablets like they used to. No, but in saying that, I walked in here with a tablet and you didn't even notice. This is a good point. Yeah, and sitting in my bag over in the corner. Yeah, well, this is the point. Yeah. It's, it's hiding in a bag. It's hiding in a bag. It's hiding in a bag for iPads, you know. Yeah, well, see, I, I've started carrying one around yeah. again, but that's be- purely because it's on Android and my phone's yeah. on Windows. What we have found is, especially with the release of the 6 Plus, yep. people tend to be going more for that than they are for the tablets, yep. yeah. because you've now got a phone that's about the size of a tablet, but it's still a phone. Yeah, so well, see, it, that's exactly why I like the, um, the little Samsung. Yeah. It's, it, it's smaller, it actually fits inside my jacket pocket. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Um, what we're finding with people after iPads, it tends to either be work-related, so mm-hmm. people who need to use them, yep. um, or it tends to be older people these days who are off on a trip and want you know something that they can contact home with and, and stuff like that. Yeah. The, the actual yeah, market and a slightly bigger screen change. generally. Yeah. yeah. But that's also something that is very specific to Hamilton. In our new market store, for example, iPads are flying off the shelf. They can't get enough of them. Oh well. Wow. So it, it, again, it's a very different demographic in new market. Yeah. So I think it does change from region to region as well. Yeah, see, I, I, I tend to be, uh, I get most use out of my tablet on the couch. Yeah, same. And normally if I'm not on the couch, it'll just be sitting on the floor next to the yeah. couch. I, I was walking around with mine today and I managed to snap a photo of my neighbours. That was pretty much the first time I've used it in a week, to be that's, honest. That's a bit oh. creepy. Yeah, that's oh, creepy. Have you not heard the story of my neighbours? Tell us. Um, I, I've got, I, I live is in a very... Is it suitable to hear this publicly? Yes, yes okay. it is. Um, I was woken up about a week and a half ago with somebody outside and outside my house praying to Allah for something. I thought that was a bit strange because it was midnight. And I go outside and this, this kid dumps, I say kid, he would have been sort of mid to late teens, yeah. dumps something in the neighbor's letterbox. And I thought, well, that was a bit strange. Yeah. Go out the next day and I have a chat to the woman who lives down the driveway. It was a love letter for her daughter ah. from the, this very, very religious Islamic boy. And they're a very, very religious Mormon family. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. A- and I'm sort of saying, oh, that's really strange. And then over the last week, I've... I've picked up on bits and pieces of things that have been going on with them yeah. so the other night um, I caught them kissing in the driveway and Ooh. then they had a fight in the rain the other night and they went off to a movie and, and then just today um, the mum went out and about five minutes after the mum went out the boy came around and then the boy and the girl went out somewhere yeah. so it, it's been very interesting it's an ongoing saga it is so it, it's every time it comes on I, just, I stick it on Facebook now and, and you get a do, 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 yeah do, do, do. I kind of feel like I'm stalking these people yeah it's With, a fascinating story it, it is though and I think the religious <laughs> element of it is got people sort of thinking well, what's going to happen but the only time it's actually come into play was that very first night when he woke me up praying yeah was he quite a little vocal was he and my, the sound carries actually where i am and oh, i don't okay. know why and it was, i don't live too far away from the road but yeah he was loud i think i remember seeing that on facebook yeah 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 and, and so there's been it just updates. seemed like he was praying to the letterbox right? yes. not, not the first young man to pray no for a, for a young woman no no not no, by no, a long no, shot. No. No. They may have been alternating gods or whatever, but yeah, or deities. But, but they seem to be doing fine. And there was there was a big fight last night, yeah. um, because he he must have come around for a family dinner, and stormed off. And that I told you that they weren't ready for this, and yeah, yeah, and then drove away, and then came back two seconds later and got out and kissed the girl in the driveway. Aww. Yeah, it's Aww. really sweet and really adorable. Actually, well, kind of sad. <laughs> you almost need to start a blog for this. I, I, it is on my Facebook page at the moment. Yeah. People can follow me on Facebook, I guess. Yeah. If they, if they I reckon you should start this blog. It'd be an interesting tale to follow. It, I, I might start a Facebook page for it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll call it something like, you know, <laughs> Islam boy and Mormon girl. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure those superhero names Superheroes, are. Superheroes, yeah. 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 Oh, it must be time for a break. We've got some gaming stuff to chat about. Talk about games we've been playing. I've we got, do have a little bit of gaming stuff. I, I, I have some news that's going to blow one of um, the pieces of news that you've been sort of putting out lately. Oh, it's yes. To, ooh, news Here off. we go. Yeah. Controversy. Yeah. Um, so we'll come back with that after uh, the next track, which is uh, electronic track.
A bit of house music. Yep. This one's called Supernatural. You're on hashtag. iPhone. Oh, Dad, just go to UB. UB, Hamilton's only dedicated Apple authorised reseller and service provider for all your Apple needs, including iPads, iPhones, portables, and desktops. Come talk to the experts at UB, Tiawa at the base. To keep up to date with the latest news and announcements, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at UBNZ, or head into stores so we can help UB the best you can be. You're back with Hashtag, and of course we've got Paul here from UB talking about uh, all the Apple goodies that are coming out uh, and were announced, and uh, also the new MacBook Pro that we've got sitting in front of us right here. Yeah, watching a video on it right now, which is fantastic. It looks very pretty. Giant space fish. I oh, know. It's a crazy a idea. Hairy-looking space fish. Yeah, yeah. And uh, You could be my mother-in-law. <laughs> Yeah, not that I'm married. Uh, uh, so. we'll that. <laughs> um, so the new MacBook that is coming out. So yes. not this one that's sitting in front of us, but the, the new, new one. one. Yes. Um, bit of controversy. Yeah, it, it's, Apple's gone a very different route with it, and I think, again, it's testing the waters. Um, there's only one port on the side, and you have to get an adapter to be able to make it do anything, essentially. Um, the it, one port to rule them all. One port to rule them all, yeah, and in darkness bind them. It, it depends on how you want to use it as to what adapters you're going to need for it. See, uh, I've actually been defending the idea. Yeah. Uh, because I don't see a use for having a lot of USBs anymore. Like, mm-hmm. going forward... You don't need them. I can see why people want them. Yep. 
because people aren't willing to let go of USB drives and external hard mm-hmm. drives or whatever. Oh, absolutely. Um, but it's not something that's actually necessarily needed yeah. with, like we said earlier, the cloud. Um, you can connect all the devices, like the m- external mouse and stuff via mm-hmm. Bluetooth now. Um, you only really need one USB. Yeah, and I'm kind of hoping that these come with at least one because it's what our security system runs on. It makes yeah. it very hard to stick them out without it being secure. Yeah. Um, but other than that, you know, it, it's it'll be interesting to see how people adapt to it. That there's been for us a number of complaints about the fact that you have to buy these accessories to do other things with it. And I can sort of see where that complaint mm-hmm. is, is if you do have something that you would casually want to plug in. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's not going to work. Yeah. A- it, even for those people that like to be able to plug an HDMI cable in and yeah. and use the TV to watch a movie from there. That's oh, so they've got no HDMI either. No. Oh wow! No, you, the the plug adapter will come with that, so it'll plug basically. Oh, so it will there. come with that one. Yeah. we're not going to be charged a hundred bucks for no, it. No, 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 no. As in, when you buy the adapter, it comes with an it comes with the HDMI plug as part yeah, of the you adapter. Still that buy you buy your oh, adapter. So still yeah. <laughs> uh, but it will, there's also an option for an adapter with VGA, which is why they've got the two options in there mm-hmm. for it instead of having it built in. Yep. Some people still use VGA. But see, somebody had to be the first company to go yep. for the new USB format, yeah, though. Yeah, absolutely. And from Apple's point of view, you've got a machine here that doesn't need to be plugged into anything. Yeah. Uh, because you've got Apple TV that you can deal with specifically for wireless streaming stuff to televisions. You've got cloud-based everything, including iCloud Drive now. Yeah. So you can store files there and you can access files pretty much anywhere you need to. Or even Dropbox so you can use yep. it across everything. Yep, exactly. Uh, there is no need, for, if you've got everything Apple, to have to worry about having anything plugged in essentially other than your power supply. But there are just so many USB-powered accessories yes. like desk fans and cooler pads and all sorts of things. Yeah, absolutely. But they also have things like fans built into them these days. And part of the, the redesign, because it is a, a complete redesign from the inside to all of their other machines. A fan inside it, yeah, but not for me on a hot day. No, fair enough. Everyone's a little different with how they use it. And I find my MacBook... Oh, so you're talking about an external fan to on your desk to yeah. blow onto you. Yeah. <laughs> you can get these ones that plug into the old school sockets that come okay. pre-installed in your house. I say, why not just plug it into your USB charger for your iPhone? Don't have an iPhone. Get an iPhone and a <laughs> USB charger for it. True. Yeah, True. or any standard USB yeah. charger will But do then I that. need a power socket. I yeah. can't just be sitting there and have a fan going. But these on. are MacBooks, so they're portable devices. Yes. Yeah. I, I, so, is a, so is a USB fan accessory. That's, that's why right. they run on USB. They're portable. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I don't think Apple thought about the, the USB fan market when they were designing this yeah. one. Oh, I'm sorry. They, they tend to only they keep need their me own on board. In yeah. Mind. I um, need to bounce these ideas off me a bit earlier. I I'm think. sorry. I, I'll, I'll give them the memo. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting concept, though, by charging through the same port. Yes. Yeah, it is. I think it was going to happen eventually anyway. It's a yeah. case of streamlining everything. Yeah. So it, it was, again, it has to be the first somewhere along lines to try it. So yeah. Apple's probably the biggest company to be able to do that. Well, if it's going to be successful, you're going to need one yeah. of the bigger companies. It was going to have to be either them or HP or yeah, somebody. Exactly. But even HP's ideas sort of don't... They've tried a few over the last couple yeah. of years and they don't sort of take off. Yeah. Yeah, it always feels, for me, as an Apple person, it always feels like they're running to play catch-up, even though I know in many cases it's the other way around. Yeah. Um, and new keyboard. Yeah, new slight new layout for it, just basically to get it a little bit more streamlined. They're never going to change the basics of how a QWERTY keyboard actually looks. No, they're the same across but, everything. Yeah, um, but yeah, basically the same sort of thing. Um, it, it's, I, I wouldn't put it past Apple to redesign touch typing. I really wish they would. Change wouldn't. a few letters around, you oh, know. Uh, well, people used to touch type, now they can... Now they can do it Now they way. can Apple type. Now they can... <laughs> I type. I, I type. I type. Do you think they're getting away from the I in general? Are we going to see the next phone being the Apple phone? No, I don't think so. The iPhone itself is too much of a brand recognition element for them to do that. Yeah. I don't think they'll change that. If they did, it might be something like a 10th generation phone, so they've got a big number to be able to do it with, yeah. but I can't see it happening anytime soon. There are some things like um, iPay hmm. instead of Apple Pay, which, which doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, Apple Watch versus the iWatch. I think iWatch is already a brand name out there. Somebody's already got it, and they've just decided, you know, screw it, we're big enough to be able to do it. So it's possible that they're moving away from it, yeah. but there's nothing definitive yet coming from them saying that's the case. And do you think we'll see this year a, um actual number jump in um, the Mac OS? No. No, you think they'll just continue with this 10-point whatever? Yeah. yeah. How long have they been on 10 for now? 
uh, many years now. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can't remember exactly how far back, to be honest, but 10.10, 10, we, we were expecting it to be 11.1. Yeah, well, because it got, all of a sudden, it, they'd used almost all their yeah. single digits. Yeah, and they, they went from cats to parks, and the number of people that we have come in going, I can't get Yosemite to work. Yosemite. Yosemite? And it's yeah. like, and you explain uh, yeah. to them, it's Yosemite. It's a place in China. Yeah, exactly. I said to them, it's, it's Yosemite, and like, Yosemite, like, Yosemite Sam. Yeah. Oh, him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a park. If you explain it to them in terms of cartoon characters, they get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably true with most Apple fans. Yeah, <laughs> a, a lot of them. This this week in particular, I could completely agree with you. This week has not been a great week for us with our customers. Uh, oh, gaming. Gaming. No, I was teasing earlier about something that some news I had for you. Yeah, what have you got? What's this no, news? For the last Adils? couple of months, you've been throwing facts around about how um, Xbox has uh, had the biggest sales of... X month, or they've had a massive spike over Christmas and things like that. Compared to the PS4. Compared to the PS4, because those are the two slugging it out. Yeah, so we're not we're not including Nintendo in this, and we're not including it's purely out of the, the machines that we use. Yeah, yeah. So um, green versus blue. Green versus blue. So Team Blue had a very definitive win this week. Uh, oh, figures have come out <laughs> uh, of the last twelve months since launch. They've just released in China. Have they? They have. Okay, so it uh, won't be counting this. Okay. So this was just since saying. launch globally. Yes, twenty point two. Sixty five percent of all PlayStation of all next gen number? consoles in New Zealand are PlayStation fours. Sixty five percent in New Zealand. Sixty five percent in New Zealand. So this is in New Zealand. Oh, true. Yeah. Must be all about sixty five percent of the crowd sitting around sad about waiting for games to come out. Well, ninety and ninety five percent of all PlayStation fours are also connected to uh, the network as well. Well, I don't see the does point it even of work having it's one not connected without to a network. It. Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, because yeah. they, they they waited for the Xbox launch and said, oh, uh, Xbox have to- uh, screwed to up be, there." And say, to be fair, the Xbox launch was pretty screwed right yeah. from the start. There were big issues with, "Are oh, we going to do this so you can't copy games and you have to pay for things again?" And they took too many big risks. Yeah, that, they did. Well, for a while yeah. there before the launch. Before it actually came out yeah. on the show here, we were calling it the Xbox 180 because that's every annou- everything every announced, they're they're doing a complete brand. 180. Yeah, and absolutely. And I, I love the how Sony played on that. You know, this is how you share games on Sony. You yeah. hand someone a game. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. Uh, they completely rewrote everything, though, after they saw what happened with oh, Microsoft. Yeah, they they had, were basically on the same page. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, had, exactly. they had a three-hour window to change things. Yeah. See, I, I love the Sony ads that they used to do with Kevin... I can't remember his last name. He was the he was always the VP of something. Yeah, it was always something very different. And he'd sit down there and he'd chat to people, and it was it was very funny, like very well done commercials, but completely aimed at Sony. Like you could see there and go, yeah, Sony is doing this for a very obvious reason. Yeah, they want us to look smart and savvy, and yeah. worked really well for the PlayStation Three. But then I think the actor went off and got fired or got in trouble for oh, something, oh, yeah. as actors tend to. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I think Sony for the marketing side of things have been completely different for this generation yeah. than they have been in the past. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, as hashtag, we always found it very hard to get information out of mm-hmm. Sony um, for in the PS3 era. Yep. Um, this time around, complete opposite. Amazing company to deal with mm. as opposed to... Oh, up there with what we were getting the from Microsoft. PlayStation are anyway. Yeah. Sony PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, yeah PlayStation. The, the other side about. of Sony with their phones and things, it's been very slow, very hard. Okay. Very arduous trying to get stuff from them. We're getting um, there. But we are, we are making headway, aren't we, Sony? <laughs> Good on you. Yeah. Um, uh, also this week, um, uh, announcements from Sony, or not announcements as such, but um, uh, news that Bloodborne is going to be released very shortly. It's going to be out next week. Yeah, I was I was watching some trailers for that this morning, and um, I don't know. It looks like the sort of games that you've seen before, you know. Um, I think the first few trailers that came out for it, I wasn't that excited by it, and like, they announced this one at Gamescom, eh? I think so. Yeah, um, I wasn't that excited. It looked like another fantasy game. There was there was some place um, doing if you come in and donate blood, you get a free copy of the game. Wow, that's yeah. an impressive little. That's a cool gimmick. marketing campaign. <laughs> so, so oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm, after having a look at the last few trailers and stuff, very much looking forward to it. So that's a PS4 um, exclusive. Um, yeah, I believe it is PS4 exclusive. Okay, and so that'll be out next week for all those PS4 people. And also another piece of news for the PS4 is God of War Three is coming to the PS4. 
So this was a big title for Sony on the last generation. Yep. And so they've obviously worked on it up the res and releasing it um, mm. on they've the PS4. polished it up. Yeah. And pumped it out with a PS4 logo. Yeah, so that is going to be coming out as well. I believe it may be available now. And it's going to be in 1080. Um, 1080p. Hopefully there's enough fans of the previous generation that have moved on to PS4 that want to play it again. Hmm. I mean, it's it's one thing to take a, a, a previously successful title and, and polish it up for a new console, but it's it's not always that easy to bring all those same fans through to buy it again. I think Just ask Sonic's fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about um, Sonic, uh, Nintendo this week uh, made a bit of an announcement, which I actually think is their way of trying not to be the next Sega. Oh, going into phones. Going into mobile. Yeah. Now, they have mm. been very stubborn mm-hmm. in not releasing any of their... Um, games or intellectual property for mobile. How much money are they going to make the day they release Mario? The thing is, they're not going to be doing that. Oh. Yeah. Mario so doesn't get a release? What they've announced is they're going into a partnership with DNA, who's mm-hmm. um, Japan's biggest uh, mobile game pro- um, developer. Okay. Um, going into a partnership, so they're going to be able to develop with DNA mobile apps which will use their intellectual property. So we'll see Mario in games. But we won't see a Mario game. But at least at first we're not going to see the original Super Mario released on mobile officially. Ah, see, that, that I think would be a fantastic move for them though. You well, release was, a game like that. So, was, so we might get a game called Italian Plumber Man. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll get With Mario. a guy that looks just like Mario. <laughs> <laughs> we will get Mario in a game, but it'll probably be another one of those uh, what are they, running games. Oh, uh, yeah. Like um, Temple Run. Yeah, ten, another Temple Run clone. Oh, uh, yeah, Subway Surfers. Yeah. And uh, uh, apparently this company's quite a good company when it comes to mobile games. But yeah, it's just going to be sort of using the... I'm, I'm, so should I be waiting for something like Mushroom Crush to come out? Bound to be coming. <laughs> um, True, yeah. They, they, have, they have said they're not ruling out releasing games eventually, mm. but at first it's not going to be happening. Mm. But... I think they should because it worked for Sega. Sega yeah. released um, Sonic uh, 1, 2, and 3, Sonic CD, yep. all available yeah. on mobile, and they're relatively cheap. Yeah. Mario's Mushroom Farming. Yeah. Yep. You're bound to get stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and during the same announcement, they also dropped another little gem, not a lot of information on it, but we've got hints and clues about it, that they are already working on their next console. Uh, see, Yay. I'm, yeah, I'm in two minds about that one. I see why you have two minds because I actually think this is a good move by them. I, I know. I think it's it's very hard to come into a market when you've got two behemoths already in play and yeah. try and take a chip out of them. And Nintendo's never gone for that market no. that they go for. But the Wii U just for me fell flat. It was too soon after the Wii. They didn't really learn anything extra from it. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'll see. I'll wait till it comes out before yeah. I actually pass. From judgment. what? From what? The news in the industry uh, tends to be is that uh, they're going to go away from the gimmicks of motion, play, motion and play, and big chunky tablet mm-hmm. controllers and things like that, and they're going to focus more on what once upon a time Nintendo were great at, just making a good gaming machine. I, I thought you were going to say card games. <laughs> oh no, I'm not going that far back. <laughs> um, but they used to make great gaming yeah. consoles that were just gaming consoles. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, they. I think. This year, next year, still too early. Mm-hmm. Give it another year. Three yeah. years' time. Release it mid-cycle yeah. for everyone else. All right. So now now some gaming stuff for people that like to play actual games. Actual games. Um, rather than Italian plumbers jumping on mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> is um, team, team Green, I'm assuming? No, no. This is for all of them. Okay. All the big ones. For PC, PS4, and Xbox One, Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, I saw you post about this this morning. Yes. Now, DICE, the company making it, are actually, they've actually used images um, of the original props and models from the uh, the Star Wars movies. So they've been invited into the inner sanctum, <gasps> got their hands on all the actual stuff, <gasps> taken photos, made their own models, gone to the actual original movie locations wow. to film. Um, so we can expect a game that's going to look and feel Fairly true See, it's to a the good thing you don't have Sasha on this week, otherwise he would be in a puddle down here right now. Yeah, well, we're going to be talking to Sasha actually later this afternoon. We're, ah. we're on uh, Podfellas this week. so Oh, fantastic. We'll have to bring this up, Matt. Yes. We will. Hopefully we're going to see um, some sort of multiplayer, and, and I'd mm-hmm. like to see some epic space battles. I think epic space battles are what Star Wars is all about. 
Yeah. I think so. And they've they've really failed to bring that into the gaming side of things yeah. in the past. So hopefully that's going to happen. Yeah, and, and, um, so, and, yeah, PC, PS4 and Xbox One, it's not coming out on the older consoles. Mm. They also forgot about that on Episode 1, 2 and 3 as well, just saying. Uh, episode 3 started off with one. Started off, yeah. Yeah. yeah but the tra- I think there's more in the trailer for the new one than there was in... Yeah. Now another one, uh, if you are wanting epic space battles, is Eve Valkyrie. Valkyrie? That's what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sitting here and nodding and smiling. You I, say it now. You <laughs> no, need a third version. No, because I I don't know which one I'd go for. They're uh, both correct. It's I'd like go tomato Valkyrie. and tomato. Oh, okay. Mine sounded more nicer. Okay. Go. Sorry to rain on your parade. <sighs> You got an honour apology then. Go. It's recorded now. <laughs> Dub it well, this one looks fantastic. It. I was watching trailers on it uh, on YouTube hmm. uh, using a VR headset, and it just looks amaze balls. Full on dog fights flying around in space with a VR headset. You can That'd look all amazing. around at your windows shooting. Uh, and because you're in space, there's no up or down. It's mm-hmm. just everywhere as bad guys coming at you. And oh, that, that would actually be amazing to be immersed in that. Yeah. And it just looks absolutely awesome. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, of course, New Zealand's getting Netflix. Yes, next week. Netflix live. March 24th, New Zealand and Australia. It's going to be released. It's This uh, week. There we go. It's wet flicks because it's watered down so badly, oh. I would imagine. They still haven't announced prices they still haven't announced what content we're going to have available, but I'd say it's going to be pretty sad. Yeah. My clincher, I'm making my mind up on this, is if we get the Netflix Marvel content, yeah. I will get it. Which we won't. <sighs> the, the only because good most thing of the Marvel about content's it, been sold off elsewhere. The rights to it have already gone. Already. Yeah. The, the, you're going to be able to uh, access Netflix from everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your absolutely. PlayStation, your Xbox, all your different smart TVs yeah. seem to have the apps for it. Um, so it's, it's going to be out there for everyone to give it a try. I'm sure they'll do a free month. Isn't the PlayStation Network already got it in place now? Like yeah, it, it's it available popped up right last now. Week. Yeah. I think Apple TV is the same. Yeah. I've, I've got the app on the Xbox One as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're all sitting waiting to make that decision. And I think decision. on my Samsung Smart TV has yeah. it there as well already. Yeah. 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 So, but and, it's, and it's not running yet. I, I'm just waiting and see what they've got because from what I've heard, all of the good content that makes them so popular overseas, we seem to be missing out on. Yeah. What services do you use currently? Very little. Yeah. My and phone. It, my TV, my, my internet, what's actually playing on TV. I, I'm, I'm surprisingly... Um, Old school. Yeah, at home I am, yeah. 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 I've got all the technology at work. I don't take it home with me if I can help it. What about you, Matt? What streaming services? Uh, we predominantly use Lightbox at home. Yeah. Uh, we've Because Samsung Smart TVs have an app for that, so that was nice and easy. Are you with Spark? <clears throat> no. Because the number of people I know that are, oh, I don't have to pay for Lightbox, I've got Spark. But Spark's a terrible service. Yeah, correct. And so that they're getting something for free from a terrible service. So to me, that means that something free yeah. is terrible. I also getting know people who have bought... 12 uh, months for free. Yeah. yeah. I also know people who have bought iPhones for the same reason. They've got, oh, I'm with Spark because I got the cheap iPhone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When they should be coming and talking to yeah. me about getting the right iPhone. Exactly. So head into UB next time you want to buy an Exactly. No, oh, my internet is not with Spark. Yeah, neither. It's with Snap. Ah. Yes, they're brilliant. They are fantastic. Yeah, and now they've no got um, 200 up and 200 down for a really reasonable price. Nice. Yes. Yeah, if you're in a fibre area. Snap fibre's the way to go. Um, so anyway, that's just about us. Yeah. Um, it's It's been a, a very Apple and gamey kind of a show. Yeah, that's probably my fault. I love games. And apples. Yeah. And apples. We need we need to get you on for a, one of our big gaming shows. Yeah, because we've got sort we've got a few gaming events coming up very mm. soon as well. It must be coming around to the first quarterly um, big releases. Hopefully, we'll have Carice back next week to spice our, uh, the show up a bit at the start with some news. Yeah, hopefully she's feeling better. Yeah, yeah and Jen Jen, hopefully she's getting well as well. I know. Yeah, so sick girls. All right, so that is us. Make sure you tune in next week. Um, follow us on Twitter at hashtag Radio NZ. Like us on Facebook and uh, check out all the other podcasts on the hashtag Me Podcast Network on hashtag Me.co.nz and, of course, on iHeartRadio. And go see Yubi, Yubi.com and at UBNZ on Twitter. Thanks see for you. coming in, Paul. Thank you for having me. Hashtag Me.co.nz For more episodes of this community access radio show, please visit freefm.org.nz. Thanks to New Zealand On Air for making this podcast possible through funding the Access Internet Radio Project.